state from the end glorious independent state of Aceh. I'm very honored to be here today because I learned a lot of new things that I didn't know before and I'm very happy that the Dutch uh, kept uh, the history of my country very well rather than Indonesian who destroyed and tried to neglect our existence. Uh, I was shocked to see how big the cannons were and it was great to learn about the history of my homeland. Yeah. I'm very glad to be here because uh, I learned a lot of things about my home country's uh, history. The second question goes to uh, Aziza. You have seen so many cannons and were equipment from Aceh, stolen and broke here by the Dutch during the colonial wars. But there is the biggest cannon be found here called Lada Sijupa, lying exactly on the entrance of the museum. Tell me why on earth it was named Lada Sijupa. Well, to know the meaning of it, you have to know its history. We can start off by, I can start off by telling that the king of Aceh, Alauddin al Kahai, sent the ambassador, two ambassadors to Turkey. Mm. When they started to sail, it took many weeks or even months to get there. So we went, they traded a lot of things. People gave them weapons and in return, the Chinese people gave them spices. By the time they reached Turkey, they didn't have lots left, mm -hmm. but they couldn't meet the Sultan right away because he wasn't available, he was battling on the field. Mm -hmm. And it, by the time they were there, they had to sell things too in order to survive. And by the time the Sultan came back, he, he, didn't, came, he didn't come back because he died on the field. Mm -hmm. So they met with this, uh, the Sultan's son. And uh, when they met him, the Sultan's son gave the Chinese people both weapons and soldiers for them. And in return, they didn't have a lot to give back. Mm -hmm. So when the Sultan gave uh, the Chinese people uh, the big cannon, which is in, at the entry of this museum, uh, we only gave him one small bag of spices. And that is why it is called Lada Sichupa. Thank you. Oh, okay, the third question is, could you describe how was the relation between the Ottoman Empire and the Kingdom of Aceh in the 15th toward the 17th centuries? Well, the Ottoman Empire had some kind of uh, unofficial allegiance uh, with uh, the Kingdom of Aceh since the uh, 1530s, but our found the founder of Aceh and our first uh, Sultan uh, Sultan Alauddin wanted to develop these relations mm. in order for him to uh, overpower the uh, Portuguese and uh, and uh, to uh, intensify his own power in Sumatra. Mm. So when uh, Selim and the Magnificent died, his son uh, Selim II sent uh, a couple of fleets uh, to Aceh and they were equipped with the artillery, armor and weapons and followed by some engineers, uh, gunsmiths and soldiers and the uh, Achenese people paid uh, for it with uh, spices and uh, diamonds and pearls and they actually taught us to forge our own weapons. There were a lot of trades between the empire of uh, the empire and the kingdom of Aceh mm -hmm. and uh, they helped uh, build a strong foundation to a great alliance. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, mm -hmm. when uh, uh, these expeditions uh, have great relationship with the Ottomans uh, based on uh, military and uh, religious purposes. Mm -hmm. So, um, but for a very long time, Aceh was really powerful and we didn't really need the help of the Ottoman. Mm -hmm. But in 1873, the Dutch uh, attacked us and uh, we needed the help of the Ottoman and they were reminded that uh, they vowed to be our allies throughout thick and thin and the king wanted to uh, revive this agreement but sadly the the ottomans weren't able to aid us at the time okay mm -hmm. Thank you. the last question uh, why do you think the ottoman could not help Aceh when the letter was invaded by the dutch in 26 march 1873 i think that Ottoman's uh, empire needed to stand up for themselves at that time so that's why they couldn't stand up for Aceh mm -hmm. and the reason why the Ottomans couldn't stand up for Aceh mm -hmm. that's uh, because um, 
they got many enemies. Mm -hmm. uh, even their own people uh, were t were turning against them. So at that time, uh, the Ottomans were uh, at weakest. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much for Thank you. Saya berada di Museum Brownback di mana di sini tersimpan daripada banyak sejarah Aceh yang terutamanya ini ada sebuah ruangan di mana hampir keseluruhannya terdiri daripada peninggalan Aceh dan juga foto dan bisa kita lihat sendiri bahwa uh, semacam ruangan khusus tentang Aceh dan di atas sana terlihat bahwa banyak jenderal-jenderal yang pernah bertugas di Aceh. Uh, seperti mana yang di, kita baca di internet bahwa ini museum ini sangat hubunga, hubungannya sangat berat dengan Aceh. Oleh karena itu komunitas Aceh di Swedia dan Denmark mereka ikut datang ke sini untuk melihat langsung. Ceritakan sedikit tentang peranan muslimah dalam kerajaan Aceh tempat dulu dan juga di masa penjajahan Belanda. Uh, tentu sangat besar ya, uh, karena kita sering mendengar istilah di baliknya sukses seorang lelaki pasti terdapat wanita yang hebat di belakangnya begitu juga dengan para pahlawan Aceh mereka selain mereka turun uh, ke medan perang langsung seperti yang dilakukan oleh Cuk Nyakdin, Cuk Nyak Mulia, ataupun yang lainnya mereka juga memberikan dukungan moral dan semangat ataupun doa kepada para pahlawan kita dan mereka juga mempunyai peranan penting yaitu mendidik anak-anak Aceh yang berkualitas pada masa itu apa tantangan yang paling besar bagi muslim aja sekarang ini dalam kehidupan masyarakat? Uh, kalau menurut saya, peran wanita dalam rumah tangga itu adalah merupakan tantangan terbesar uh, wanita berbaur di masyarakat karena mereka dituntut untuk uh, mengurusi rumah tangga mereka ataupun mendidik anak mereka sehingga mereka tidak mempunyai waktu luang untuk berbaur kepada masyarakat. Dan juga ada faktor mungkin um, budaya ataupun agama yang menjadi tantangan bagi mereka juga apa yang harus dilakukan untuk menghidupkan kembali semangat Malayati, Junyadin, Jumitia dan ratu-ratu kerja Aceh yang memegang pemerintahan selama 60 tahun berturut-turut yang lalu uh, kalau membangun sama persis semangat seperti mereka seperti Cuma Lahayati, Junyadin ataupun Junyamutia mungkin itu agak sulit di zaman sekarang karena kita tidak merasakan langsung peperangan ataupun terjun langsung dalam perang tapi yang bisa kita lakukan adalah kita mengenang kembali jasa-jasa mereka dan mengenang kembali bagaimana hak kita sebagai orang Aceh direbut dan kita menanamkan jiwa nasionalisme yang tinggi kepada penerus Aceh dengan cara mencintai budayanya dan mencintai bahasanya Apa tujuan Anda datang ke Belanda ini? Uh, bertepatan dengan hari ini tanggal 25 Maret kami mengunjungi museum barang peninggalan Aceh yang ada di Belanda ini di sini terdapat peninggalan seperti meriam yang dari Aceh dan keesokan harinya uh, kami akan mengikuti aksi damai uh, solidaritas uh, uh, dicabutnya makhlumat perang Belanda kepada Aceh
Kuala Selangor. Saya sudah lama di Indonesia. Hij heeft een kaart van Zweden, hè? Nee. Een kaart van okay. Tunai, ja. naar Zweden. Dat dan? Dat. Ja. Die museum Bronbeek, die Kota Arnhem, die de Griebelanda. Terima kasih. Terima kasih banyak. Hilo ja. gedang. Orang awak elok sadunya. Aduh, aku digambar ini. Sudah jadi artis. Thank <laughs> you.